snow day. Finally some value out of this cold. I don't mind the cold when it's actually like pretty and functional and has a purpose, but when it's just cold and cold, that sucks. I mean, just look how much more pretty everything is. It's all white, like a fresh blanket. It's still snowing. It's the goods. Unfortunately, Milo's not quite big enough so we can really enjoy it and play in it. When he is, you best believe we'll be out here playing around. I feel like nine tripods. I always lose the one I'm trying to use. Thought it was in here. It's not in here. But today I've got to run a couple errands. I want to uh, I want to build our couch a little differently than most people. Oh, found it. Yeah, I had this idea. It's a little different than kind of every, anything else I've seen. That includes me getting five pieces of metal that are 10 feet long. Today's a new day. So I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I often find myself like trying to reinvent the wheel, I guess. I try to do something different, even though people have done it a successful way each and every time. And today that continues with the couch. Most people use these. It's just your typical two by four. Pretty strong, not too heavy, but I don't want to use this. But other people use a two by two. Still pretty strong, not quite as strong because you don't have that other two inches or whatever, but it saves space and they're cheaper and they're not too heavy. I don't want to use these either. So then I had an idea, I'm like, what is small but strong that I can work with that's gonna give me more space underneath, it's gonna be super sturdy and it's not really that much more expensive. So then I had an idea. Metal, that's a one by one square 14 gauge piece of steel. Very strong, very sturdy. This is an eight foot strip. That's a lot smaller than the two by twos and the two by fours. They don't really weigh that much more. Our couch is gonna be like at 68 inches altogether. So I think I'm gonna use steel and then some plywood, but I'm gonna use steel to build our couch. So I have a bunch of ideas in my head as far as how I want this to work with the slides. Cause we're also gonna be doing like two slides instead of just one slide. Cause we want it to slide out to like a little sectional if we need to. This is stronger, weighs about the same. I've got to use less of it and it's smaller and it's only a dollar a foot. It is a little bit more expensive, but the fact that I don't have to use so many braces, I think this is, uh, I think this is gonna work out just fine. So here we go.
Yay! That's a solid bed, right? Cool! It looks great! I'm excited! Me too. Good job, sweetie. Alright, so it's like three months into the future and I'm just not getting around to editing this video, so thanks for watching. Um, but I want to kind of explain the couch layout and what it does and why it's different from most people's and how it's actually kind of played out for us. A lot of people just do the one big slide out and that's very functional and it's great for just turning the couch into a bed. But we wanted a little bit more couch space, but we didn't want to do a couch right across from each other because we want to have like an entertainment center right here. So we came up with the idea of doing like a sectional. The original idea was just to have one piece that kind of extended out a little bit more than the rest. And when I was coming up with the design for the couch, I was like, why don't we why don't we do it so it's three individual slides? So what we've got here is one, so then it turns into a sectional, two, so this turns into basically like two lazy boys, and then three, and that makes it into a full-size bed. Two people can sleep here comfortably, um, and then the beauty behind it too is if we slide in this, and slide in this, then we basically have a couch with an ottoman. The part that was a little tricky trying to figure out how the cushions would go, the idea right now is we'll have one big cushion on the bottom, and then on here we'll have a piece of two inch memory foam, and then on top of that we'll have another four inch piece of memory foam, but that four inch piece will get cut into three individual sections. When we slide this out, we'll grab that back cushion and lay it here, so then you've got two cushions that are four inches, and then a two inch little buffer for our backs, just, just guys. And that makes it so that we can have, like I said, two lazy boys, one and one. We'll slide out for another piece right here and that'll make the full size bed. So it'll be three individual cushions and then one big cushion. And uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the idea. One of the other ideas is to add drawers underneath each one of these. So we'll have three individual drawers. I'm not 100% sure how I'll figure that out. So a couple of the finer details within building this is it's made out of one by one, 14 gauge square steel tubing. The slats are an eighth of an inch apart and they're one by threes. The front part right here are two by twos and then the back is three quarter inch plywood. I added this little crossbar right here to keep it from not falling down when it gets pulled out. So it actually makes it slide a lot easier and it worked out well. The couch has worked out very well. If you guys uh, have any questions about it, leave me a comment below and I'd love to address those. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of engineering, a lot of kind of like trial and error. I appreciate you guys following along. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it. And if you could subscribe, we'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we've got some pretty exciting news coming up. Can't wait to share with you guys. Life is, uh, life is a roller coaster, but thanks guys.